guys, Spartan 117GW here. We are here in SS Airsoft. It's the day before the four year anniversary. And I can tell you the field has changed a lot since last year. We're gonna go ahead and walk through, show you all the things that have changed and just how much, like how dynamic this field is compared to the last time. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. Hey guys, Greg Wong here. And as you can see, they've changed things a little bit. Um, you, they, the building, they actually been moving some of the buildings around, which is pretty crazy. They can unbolt and shift buildings completely across this field. Um, but there's actually a much clearer lane over here on the left side. This is kind of coming from the tank side of the field, pushing towards the middle. They've also added this, essentially this hot dog sand, which is pretty cool. A lot of detail in there. Make sure you guys check out Jeff's video because he covered it pretty in depth. But yeah, from right here, you actually have a pretty good security point, uh, basically where you can co cover this whole left side. Pretty much from right here, it's a little open, but if you can control this lane, you're gonna control a lot of the map. But there are a little bit of hidden areas on the left as well. As you can see, we've more or less crossed through the center, through the middle, the dividing wall of the map. And we have this pretty cool truck over here. It's basically got a rocket system on it. This is the Elite Force truck. Key point on the field, because more or less gives you cover against this entire kill zone right here. As you can see off to my left, your right, there's a couple other buildings. They've shifted more so onto the side. Before, they were more in the middle. But those are definitely key anchor points that are going to control this whole dead area right here. Moving along, so what's really cool is that these two shacks behind me, they're modeled after some shacks in Modern Warfare 2. Now, as you can see, they actually have pretty good access to this whole middle empty area, more or less on this side of the map. But they're very key if you want to prevent a push from that side. But if you do end up crossing over here and you're coming from over there, you can more or less flank this entire area and just reestablish a new uh, position of dominance, therefore flanking the entire enemy team. All right, so this area is pretty cool. They've actually changed it around a little bit. They've about more or less kind of shifted this building a little bit over, and they've also adjusted the spawn a little bit as well. Uh, but one thing that's pretty cool is that you kind of have much clearer shot across the middle open area. Unlike, the, unlike you used to be able, there's a lot more cover and debris and the buildings were a little bit closer. So this area more or less has shifted. This area, not quite as much, but there's still a pretty good lane going in front of the little, uh, more or less observing uh, room over there. But other than that, that more or less concludes our little uh, journey here, going walking through the SS Airsoft Arena. Make sure you guys check it out. This place is pretty awesome. Make sure you guys come down to uh, Georgia to hit up SS Airsoft. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. James C. Burns play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BB, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.